morning. I'm Matt Sanders, Columbia Daily Tribune City Editor, and with me is our politics and higher ed reporter, Rudy Keller. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> um, so today we've got a uh, pretty packed edition. Uh, lots of news going on, including uh, some political news that Rudy is reporting now that he is uh, back with us from a vacation. So what do you got, Rudy? Well, um, in the 50th uh, legislative district uh, for the Missouri House, Sarah Walsh, a longtime Republican activist, is... Um, starting her campaign for 2018. So the yard signs were put away, the ads have stopped running, and so it's time for politicians to start thinking about the next election. And Walsh is a three-term member of the Republican State Committee, and she was a delegate to the Republican National Convention in July. She is um, very much an active Republican and has been for a number of years here locally, and um, now she's thinking that it's time for her to um, seek, high, seek an office. She ran unsuccessfully for the Columbia Public School Board in um, 2010, but now she's running in a district that hasn't had a challenger from the Democratic Party in the three elections that it's been in its current boundaries. So she'll be seeking to replace Representative Caleb Jones, who is limited um, by the Constitution from seeking another term. We're also working today on some interesting political news that you'll find in tomorrow's edition. Uh, the county clerk has released to us the precinct breakdown from the November 8th voting. Uh, so we'll be looking at that. Uh, what, do you, what are we going to be exploring there? Is it? Well, we'll look and see how Caleb Rowden um, was able to prevent um, Stephen Weber from matching the totals that other Democrats achieved, like Chris Coster and um, Jason Kander in Boone County, because if Weber had matched those Democrats' vote totals, he would be the senator-elect from this district instead of Republican Caleb Rowden. We'll also be examining where the votes came for Representative Chuck Daisy for his re-election, because he won the Boone County portion of the district for a Republican for the first time since that district drawn in its current boundaries in 2000, for 2012. Oh, wow. So, yeah, look for that. We'll, uh, we'll have some good news in tomorrow's edition. Of course, tomorrow is our stuffed edition, our big annual Thanksgiving uh, uh, edition of the paper with lots of ads, and of course, we'll have some good news for you as well. Uh, in today's edition, you can also find some, some news on the, we're updating the uh, homicide that happened over the weekend. We now know the victim's name, and we know that... Uh, woman has been charged with second-degree murder in that case. Uh, we've got some news out of the City Council meeting last night. They extended a freeze on processing building permit applications for uh, apartment developments downtown, and some labor unions were pushing the city to uh, formalize uh, their contract process to actually start entering into contracts with those labor unions, uh, which is something they don't currently do. Uh, so look for that uh, later today. Of course, like I said, our stuff edition tomorrow. You can actually pick that up curbside here on 4th Street from 11 to 3.30 p.m. So uh, come any, on by and get it. If any you want. previews of the Black Friday ads that you can offer? Or? No, those are secret. Okay. You'll have to buy it to find out. So, of course, as always, you can contact us on Facebook, on Twitter, and via email.